Okay, hi. So let's uh, find a new way forward. Uh, I've been looking at the architecture of Caustic and um, I have said this before, but I just want, wanted to be sure that I was not wrong. You have the underlying operating system uh, and uh, Caustic actually could be run on, on uh, Blueberry. Was it Blueberry they were called? Yeah, Blueberry. Um, you have the platform independent audio core and you have like a super tight uh, event firing machine. And these two were not written by the Caustic developer. And that's nice to know. He was no like the superhero. Um, these two parts were uh, in fact uh, driven by the FMOD, something called FMOD X. A product that is no longer available that evolved into FMOD Studio. So you have FMOD, solo FMOD, and then you have FMOD Studio. And then that is when you get the event firing machine. Um, so, uh, and one thing is that the FMOD, they, it doesn't have MIDI. And you can clearly see that when you when you look into the, the APK, the Android APK, that you have like a MIDI... Um, uh, package on top of it uh, to, to just uh, deal with incoming MIDI and that is one of the limitations in Caustic that really annoys me that you can have this cool legacy MIDI keyboard used to you know bring in MIDI into the Caustic but you can't control the device you, you can't get any MIDI out from Caustic I like the con constraints in, in, in Caustic I think it's great that it's not like trying to be another door where you can hook up DSPs and everything, or VSTs, I mean, uh, I like that. I think that's great. It's It should be mobile. I think it, if you, if it, it should be play, playable and fun and mobile and not, you know, ending up in this VST yada yada. But not having media out, I think that's a big annoying limitation. Uh, so, uh, having said that, and also, one more thing, uh, the UI, uh, I think Caustic is really much about the UI, uh, and it's written in uh, OpenGLS, I think, if you check here in the in the other MIDI, MIDI Windows binary, we see uh, links to, to uh, GLS. And the annoying thing here is that Apple... Uh, <laughs> Apple is deprecating the OpenGLS. Um, you know, you can say what you want about Apple, but you know, they don't. They don't. Uh, uh, what do you say? Stand back. So there you have it. Uh, so the way forward here, I think, is to have these three uh, running by the Juice framework, and I'm learning Juice now, trying to when I find time. Uh, uh, that is quite scarce at the moment. Uh, and uh, I also found a book in DSP. Let's see here. Um, you can f download it for free. I think you just have to sign up for some kind of, you know, I don't know what, ARM Digital Signal Processing, yada yada. Uh, what I've done now is that I've created what I did actually do using the Juice framework, uh, which could be nice to know, is that I built an app, uh, and I don't I don't fancy building apps for Android because I really don't like the Gradle and you know it's just just a big and clumsy. I can't believe it. it's a stupid, um, unbelievably stupid and clumsy, you know, Android development. Anyhow. Uh, I tried to build this app just to explore the the touch latency, and I think it's okay. Maybe not in par with with Caustic, but I think it's okay. I haven't been able to test the audio in to audio out latency in Android, uh, which always is a problem. Uh, now there is something new called I think it's Obo uh, that I think is uh, juices juice uses. Anyhow, um, I'm not there yet with Android development, but I think Juice is a good platform because, you know, you can build an Android app. If I can do it, probably you can. 
Um, so what I'm doing now to just explore the possibilities within DSP and how to, to, to have fun with it is I've, I've created like a framework that uh, mimics what I think is the caustic or architecture and then try to align that with juice later but for now it's just solely trying to mimic the architecture of caustic and I've done this in the PHP language and you can call this insane if you want that's fine but um, I don't need to compile anything I don't need to wait for you know obscure C stuff that I don't understand PHP is so super simple to install and if we look at some of the tests I have like a super simple this is clearly not this is in in, in uh, development but I load the app and I load you see it racks it up I load a sub into the to the to the rack number one and I add an effect and I play some notes and uh, if I remove that test to WAV and I compile it takes a while and then we have the test to WAV again and if I play that you have some effects with some filtering and polyphony ah, maybe it's better to play the WAV file right so yeah that, there you have it um, and I can recommend this guy for learning about DSP um, and of course you're most welcome to join I mean I don't have super much time but I will try to you know push this forward and if you you're free to join of course so so just stay happy and uh, have patience and uh, until next time take care